cats hope you find true love. Wait is what Valentine Day disasters have you witnessed? I saw a couple have a full blown argument in the middle of the restaurant. The woman stood up, took her ring off, threw it at him and walked out. The man continued his meal, had dessert and then paid the bill, left a pretty big tip for the inconvenience and left. She does this sometimes. Sorry everybody. I once ended up in a burrito place at 2am talking with a guy who was just casually managing his fiancé's drunken breakdown because she accidentally ordered peppers. The guy seemed tired. <laughs> Two failed marriage proposals on the same Valentine's Day. The first one simply said no I can't do this and walked out. The second one stared like a deer frozen in the headlights for an excruciating 30 seconds before muttering, let's talk about this later. They stayed for the rest of their 6 course V-Day special dinner, eating and making painful small talk. I always wonder about couples like this. How could the guy be so off the mark as to not know if his GF will say yes? Do they not communicate? Is she pretending to like him more than she does? These are questions I need answers to. Hey man. Don't judge. Lots of people make mistakes on first dates. Classic schmoss B. It wasn't disastrous for the couple as much as it was a restaurant. I used to work at a small southeastern franchise restaurant. It wasn't anything you could mistake for upscale. We had someone call in and ask if we could fry the ring he was planning to propose within a hush puppy. Extremely weird request, but we said sure. They come in to eat with their families, she gets her order of hush puppies, doesn't choke on the ring, and seems excited enough. Stayed at the table for about 2 hours total and chatted. They dined and dashed. I walked up to a table, and was about to drop off the bill, caught the end of it's over. Guy looked at me dead in the eye, and said to split that duck in check, right now. That is actually hilarious, and good on him for not paying for someone who dumped him. Not really a disaster, but this guy came in and said he was waiting for his date. He stayed for 5 hours waiting and she never showed. He eventually ordered 4 for himself and asked that I remove the other glass of water from the table. He said it was their first date. At that point, doesn't that make him the waiter? Damn why would you wait for 5 hours? I'm out of there after 30 minutes. I'd wait an hour. She could be on daylight saving time. You laugh but this actually happened to me thought I got, stood up for the first time by an American girl, turns out we had just switched to summertime in France, she didn't know. Not a total disaster, but still not good. Had a table of two people, probably in their mid 40s last year. Took 45 minutes for this couple, to get their entrees due to our kitchen being way too slammed. When they were dropped at the table, they immediately asked for two go boxes, because they told their babysitter they'd be home by a certain time. I overheard the wife say well I guess this is why we don't celebrate Valentine's Day. The worst part was that they weren't angry, just very sad. My personal feelings about dining out on Valentine's Day aside, I felt so horrible that this couple clearly had put in an effort to have a nice night with each other, only to have it go that way. We calmed their meals, btw. A 16 year old boy proposed to a 15 year old girl with a cheap ring and the whipped cream of her dessert. She said yes. So romance isn't quite dead yet. Don't you know what happens when kids that young get married? It's all romance until the mutual suicide. At least their families might stop their bloody feud. I was working as a waitress in a sushi restaurant and Valentine's Day was an all hands on deck shift. This guy I had just started seeing wanted to go out, but I told him that working in food service, you never get Valentine's Day off, and we just have to celebrate the day after, or the weekend after. Nope. He got so upset that he went and asked a different girl out, came to the restaurant I worked at on V-Day, and sat in my section. He then proceeded to spend the entire evening making a fool out of himself, and making his date uncomfortable as he tried to make me jealous. Needless to say we didn't go out again. Ever. <laughs> Saw a couple have a full on argument at a restaurant. I wasn't their server, but the table was directly in the center of the restaurant and they were certainly loud enough for everyone to hear. My manager kindly asked them to leave, and the guy's response was to yell I've been wanting to do that shut for two years now and stormed out. <laughs> it was like a movie. I was bartending at an Italian restaurant, not a fancy one but still, and it's pretty much full of valentine's dates. A guy walks in and sits at the bar by himself, looking pretty down. 
he asked for a whiskey, so I poured it, told him it was on the house, because he looked like he needed it. He proceeds to tell me his story. He had come to the city to surprise his girlfriend for Valentine's, about a 5 hour bus trip between cities, and he sure surprised her. She was in her dorm room ducking one of his friends from high school. He didn't know what to do, so he just walked into the first place that sold alcohol. I spilled as much whiskey as he wanted and watched the raptors with him. Never saw him again. It's cliche, but it happened. Someone showing up for a date and you both realize about 30 minutes and she ain't coming. Drinks on me buddy. Maybe that's what I should do next time I'm single or don't have plans on the day. Go around to different places and get free shot. Back when I served food at one of those super touristy seafood restaurants, I worked a Valentine's Day double shift. For lunch, this younger couple came in celebrating their one year anniversary. I offer my congratulations and proceed to do my usual spiel before taking orders. The girl is looking more and more dismayed the longer I talk. Finally I get to the end and ask if there are any allergies. She looks directly at her boyfriend and states, yes I'm allergic to fish and shellfish. Then looks over at me very sad. I made sure every aspect of her meal was fine for her. But it was that look of we've been dating a year and he still takes me to a restaurant that could kill me that really did it for me. Jesus Christ, what was his reaction? He wasn't the one who was allergic, aren't you paying attention? That reminds me, when my parents got me a huge strawberry filled cake with strawberries on it for my 25th birthday. I'm deathly allergic to strawberries. So, ah, uh, did they have a life insurance policy on you or something? 25 is the last year a lot of insurance plans cover your kids. I'm sure that's just a coincidence though. <laughs> Happened to my poor co-worker. A guy and his date came in for Valentine's Day. They had a great time, ate a lot of food, drank a lot of wine, and got along really well with my co-worker, who was their server. About two months later they come back in and request my co-worker again, who happily says yes to serving them. He goes up and greets them, the guy introduces his wife to him, and my co-worker mentions something about how much he enjoyed serving them on Valentine's Day. They go quiet. Wife gets up and leaves, guy just lowers his head. Turns out he had brought his mistress in on Valentine's Day, but my co-worker didn't realize he was with a different woman this time around so didn't think anything of it. We never saw the guy again. Guy was a piece of shut for cheating obviously but also what an idiot to request the server he had while with the other woman. Dude took a test drive with the mistress and decided the server was good enough for the wife. Not really much of a disaster, but last year my work called me up. Hey buddy, we know you're single. Can you come in as an extra shift tonight? No, I have a date with your wife. He proposed. She said no. He cried and tried to change her mind for 20 minutes while she sat there stony faced. She finally got up and walked out. He paid and left in tears. Bus boy on Las Vegas strip. An attempted proposal. Dude tries to set up sign with GF's friends for her to show up and see the ring near a fountain. Duck stole the ring. They found it two hours later as he dropped in the fountain. She still said yes. Free drinks were given. Untitled goose game. Was a server at a popular seafood chain that isn't very fancy, but when you live in a town like the one I worked in, that sort of place is the nicest place to go for Valentine's Day. Well, the night was incredibly busy when a couple came in. They were upset after waiting 45 minutes for a table and they were complaining quite a lot. The woman was decked out in a super nice dress and forks fur coat that was actually very realistic. Well, she was sat and served her frozen drink. She goes to lift the glass to her mouth and inexplicably, the bottom of the cup simply breaks and the drink is spilled all over her dress and nice coat. Was unfortunate. Younger couple came in for what I can only assume was a first date. Ordered a pizza but never ate. Caught up in conversation I guess. Guy must have been feeling confident because about 2 hours and he gets up, goes to the bathroom and then decides to sit next to her in the booth rather than across from her where he was before. I swear to you, she then got up and used the restroom about 10 minutes later and when she came back, decided it would best if they didn't sit next to each other and sat in his original place. Please refrain from doing this. 
A girl that I work with went to lunch on Valentine's Day at an expensive restaurant her boyfriend had gotten a reservation for. She got dressed up nice was, was going on about how sure she was that he was going to propose. He broke up with her. Did she then fall into a deep depression, decide to change her whole academic career, and go to Harvard Law School? Not my table, but back in my Olive Garden days, we had a man who looked to be in his mid-twenties tap his empty wine glass with a fork to call for attention of the surrounding strangers, then get down on one knee with silver band in hand and ask his girlfriend slash date to accept this promise ring. She looked horrified start to finish. A guy proposed to his girlfriend and she said no. The guy threw his arms up and ran out of the building. Later, while waiting for someone to pick her up, she told us it was completely out of the blue because they'd only been dating for a few months. Another V-Day, a guy raised a huge fuss over the fact that we wouldn't serve liquor to his underaged girlfriend. I'm certain you mean he threw up his hands momentarily in exasperation, but I can't help picturing him running out of the restaurant arms straight up Kermit the Frog style. Old man proposed to old woman. He tried to get off the chair to kneel, tripped and fell, and I assume broke something, since he couldn't get back up, and we had to call an ambulance. My manager had to drive her teeth to the hospital separately because she had taken them out to eat a soup, lord knows why, and left them on the table in the confusion. In college I waited tables and Valentine's Day was always a good one in terms of tips. I once saw a couple come in to eat, halfway through the dinner the man's wife shows up to surprise the couple. The wife took the wine bottle and poured the remnants on the husband's head, took off her ring, and told the girlfriend she could have him. He tipped me a $100. A guy did a backflip and asked a girl to be his valentine. She declined. I walked up to him and asked if he was fine. He said it took him a week to perfect. A. I was the disaster. I was a new server. And horrible. I dumped an entire tray on the floor. My bad. As a newish waitress I was helping work a birthday party. Turned out it was for an acquaintance of mine and knew them fairly well. It was time to bring out their ice cream cake, and as I was bringing it out on a tray one-handed, I suddenly tripped, and the cake was sliding forward. Apparently my body was already prepared to save this cake from imminent destruction and my free hand caught the cake by the top. So it was sandwiched between my hands. I was absolutely mortified, and nearly in tears. The party told me it was okay, the cake was saved, and they just cut the top off. But this event still causes me to lay awake at night. Had a man and woman sharing dessert and the man playfully put a bit of the ice cream on her nose she then did the same. And he did it back once more, but with a different flavor of ice cream. She the flipped out at him. Because you know I like chocolate the most why would you waste it you idiot. In the end she stormed out cause the man couldn't comprehend how much she was blowing up the situation. A couple sitting at the bar were enjoying their night out. The man got up from his bar stool and left for the bathroom. As his girlfriend was alone and absolutely wasted at the bar, a random woman approached and revealed that she recently matched with a woman's boyfriend on Tinder and had hooked up a week earlier. The drunk girlfriend refused to believe this story, so the woman showed her his Tinder profile and their conversation. The boyfriend returned to a drunk, sobbing and screaming girlfriend. I felt like I was watching a reality TV show. It was incredible. The poor girl was basically carried out of the bar by her boyfriend of 3 years whom she just discovered has been cheating on her for who knows how long. It was the most dramatic moment I have ever experienced and it was absolutely none of my business. I was a waitress many moons ago and took couples spring to mind. The first were an older couple who were dressed nicely. They were polite and cordial to me but not overly enthusiastic or friendly. They were at the table for a little over an hour and a half, and we didn't see them say one word to each other during that time. Every time I went over to their table, the atmosphere felt like I'd walked straight into an argument, but they weren't speaking or looking at each other or anything. It very quickly became awkward as duck. The second couple was meant to be having a proposal dinner. The guy had rung to book a table and had let us know he was going to propose during dessert. He'd given the ring to kitchen staff so we could bring it out with a cake and he'd got some balloons and streamers too. Anyway, he walks in a couple of steps behind his partner, everyone has big grins for them both, 
but he grits his teeth and shakes his head, surreptitiously dragging his finger across his throat pantomime style. Great. Oh, and lucky me, they're seated in my section. It's obvious she was bloody furious with him about something. She spends the first half of the meal seething quietly, and the second having a constant pop at him. While she was in the loo, the manager made me double check he didn't want us to bring the ring out or anything. Duck, no, was his response. I felt really bad for him, she really was mean.